hello, welcome to my channel. I am Diane Barton and I've been on the hunt for the perfect sketchbook. I think a lot of people are. Paper is either too thin or too rough or you know what I mean. Well, a while back I had made a whole bunch of homemade sketchbooks and they were or, or well I I intended them more for junk journaling there's a really neat one I really like that one so I need to go through these and figure out if there are any that I can use with which ones I can use with watercolor which ones I can use just for drawing which okay ones? these are the ones that I have that I pulled off my shelf because this one I made sure it had 100 pages so that I could do I could do the 100 heads or 100 days you know where but this one was designed just to be used for drawing um, but with this heavier paper in here I might be able to use this for I think I need some post-it notes so I can mark on here um i used copic stitch copics copic it's just a very basic book binding stitch if you're interested in learning how to do it i thought about doing a tutorial but if you go to sea lemon s-e-a-l-e-m-o-n she has some amazing tutorials that are easy to follow and they're just well worth checking out See, this is more like what I was as a junk journal. See, I could still use that for drawing or but the paper paper quality is not, not as nice. It's not archival. But ooh, that's got a nice but that isn't that isn't a real No. See, like this is just like the brown shipping paper, you know, that's crumpled up in a box. That's what this is. That's what that one is. This one's also a junk journal. This one is my favorite cover. Isn't that awesome? And then on the back, a child outlined his hand. The binding was already splitting and was of no use, so I just I, I love this cover. See, like this one says magical, and I could so I could use like this part to write uh, tarot things. You know, it could be interesting. drawing on all the different papers. I think this is all white. Yeah, not clear. Oh, this is all white too. I had piles of paper that was not being used and that was what led me to doing these. I think I could just use these what I'm needing. The work would be smaller. I think this just has copy paper in it. I don't think it's even... I should probably put this on my desk to write my to-do list or put it in my travel notebook. And the binding is just a little bit loose because I had figured that People would be adding stuff to it, and that way it would give it a little, a little play. This one has decent drawing paper in it. Do you like little thumbnails all the way through it? That was drawing, and this is another junk one. Okay, so maybe I need to, I need to choose. I think I'm going to start with that one. Whoops. 
I'm going to start with this one for just like little thumbnails. If you can see how big that is, it's about two inches high. But anyway, this will work to start with my little thumbnails. And then I want to choose a junk journal. This one had... I think I'm going to go with this one. Like just having those on a shelf, I think it's really interesting. Then I'm, I want to use what I have. So this was cool because this was paper that I actually had underneath some frames that I this was two that I was painting black and it left some interesting marks. Also, I'm still working on this. I plan on working on it today and doing another layer. And coming down. I want to leave this loose. I love the textures down here and the bluish peeking through over here. So I'm probably going to work on that this morning. And then this afternoon I have sprints that I, I have sprints that I do on Tuesdays and Thursday afternoons for heart breathings on my other channel. The studio is in a little bit of a mess. That's not too bad over there. But you start getting over here. I have I want it recorded, okay? That plant has been alive since Mother's Day last year. I have kept a plant alive for over a year. This is this is where I do my live streaming when I do sprints and right now I'm well no that's just set up for today I'm all prepared I'll be adulting this is my version of a Kanban board and it just has I do it by month so and this is the first week of the month and I have tasks that need to be accomplished on each day and as they get accomplished, I'll gather up the post-its down here at the bottom. And then I'll reuse them the next month so that I'm not being wasteful. I want to scan my bookshelf. That's one bookshelf. I need to do a plein air. I need to go out and take some supplies outside. But here in Kansas... It is so hot. I mean, it's hot. So I'm not really looking forward to it. I could sit in the car and do it. I may do that. But I do have quite a few reference photos that I can use to do some sketches that I need to do for just uh, studies and things because I need to do some paintings and get them listed on my website which I changed host this last month. And so my website looks completely different than it did before like the first part of July. I wanted to put some artwork up there also. And I have a couple that I can put now. I want to put pieces that are on canvas for right now. I don't know about shipping things that are on paper. So I've got this one that's on canvas. And I think it's 9 by 12. But I'm going to have this one on the website. And then also this one on the website. And these were both done um, as demos, I believe. I believe they were. But I'll have both of these listed on the website. I decided to come out today and do some sketching. It's so nice out. It's still early enough. It's not really hot. It's warm, but it's not terribly hot. So I'll get set up and see what I can get done here. So I didn't set up down by the river. It's warm and I'm on a time crunch because of puppy sitting. <laughs> My own puppy um, and other family members' commitments. 
so I'm limited on what I can get done today. But I took a lot of reference photos and videos and I found some other spots that are obvious in hindsight to sit at and do work in the future. So I look forward to that. But I have a few minutes before I have to leave, so I'm going to get out the watercolor sketchbook or my watercolor book and do a couple of studies real quick. For a very short sketching session, I got one little study done and quite a bit of reference photos taken, but I need to head back home and work in the studio. Just a note, I'm using really cheap or inexpensive watercolors. Um, I'm trying to use up what I have and they're perfectly usable, so I'm just trying to make them work. I'm not really a watercolorist. Um, it's not my forte, but I have the paints, so I feel like I need to use them. So, here we are. I am shooting for um, to be monetized and subscription wise view wise I'm doing okay I'm doing fine um, watch hours are just are coming right along but there are more people that watch these videos that are not subscribed than those that are so just just a just a thought if you if you I hit, my, I hit my stand. If you, if you perchance find any usefulness in these videos, I would really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. But if you watched this far, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. This was just kind of a vlog catch up type thing, type situation. I'm trying to use up what I have. I have not bought any art supplies or books since. 4th of July. I know that's not that long ago. It's only a month. But for me, for art people, that that is good. I mean, not even replacement stuff. I haven't had to replace anything. And that just says how much art supplies or how many art supplies I have. But I'm trying to use, use things up before I buy new stuff. But I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you more than I can say. Uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Hit the little bell if you want, want a notification. I will see you next time. Bye all. Take care. Mwah. Mwah.